This is Tim DeLeo with using WindowsHomeServer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore your folder structure and your backup database to a new Windows Home Server. Clicking on Server Storage, you can see that I have my base OS drive and I have my server backup hard drive. You want to make sure that your backup hard drive is recognized before starting this process. Clicking on Computers and Backups, you can see that I have my base server here. What you'll want to do is click on View Backups, and this will give you a list of any of the backups that you have on this drive. Now, I have a Prevail backup because this case and computer was actually not available at the time, and I backed up all of my system off of my Veil test box. You'll click on the date and time that you want to go through and do your restore, and you'll click on Restore. You have two options. You can see here that you can select or deselect any of the folders that you want to restore, and you can either restore only the files that are missing, or you can restore all of the files and delete anything else. You click on OK. It'll now start the home server restore folder process. Now I have about 100 gigabytes worth of data, so this will take a while. So the ability of time lapse will be back in just a couple of moments after this 100 gigabytes has been restored. Now that the restore has gone through, I'll click on close. I'll click on OK and I now have access to all of my folders. The next thing that I'll do is restore the backup database. I'll click on Settings. I'll click on BDBB, and you can see now that I have my old backup. All you need to do is click on Restore. Click on Restore. I'll click on Yes to restore the client registry keys, and click on Restore. It'll now go through, and again, it'll take a while for it to restore the 104 gigabytes of data, but it will go through. This is all that's required to go through and restore the backup database and the computer backups for any Windows Home server. Once the BDBB backup is complete, you'll now have your backups within your system. You can see that because of the amount of time, my network has gone critical. But that's only because these systems that I have here have just been restored. Double clicking on a system shows you all of the dates and the backups that are restored with the backup database. To immediately set your network back to normal, ignore the issues, and proceed with connecting computers.